The baby is resting on her sciatic nerve. You did that to me. Nah. <laughs> you did. You just no. you did, you just sat one day I woke up and and I couldn't move and you, that's what you were doing. You were sitting oh, right on that yeah. nerve. It I didn't know I just didn't know what to do, so I went to the movies for about <laughs> eight hours. I spoke with Karen. We had this conversation. <laughs> two sisters, two mothers, two daughters shifting. We ended up mostly talking about you. What could be interesting in all these years about me? <laughs> did you used to talk about me a lot? Uh -huh. <laughs> we did a lot. I mean, what did we know? We made it up, but we talked a lot anyway. Thank God. So I didn't have a baby. No, it wasn't an easy choice. I guess I think it's a lot harder because I feel like I had to make that choice myself. And I get really scared, scared about the thought of Larry and I trapped together as a couple. I'm more dependent than ever because we have a little child. I think if that was the only choice I had, that I would have decided to have an abortion. But I really feel like we have something different here. It really feels like a family. We really work through a lot of problems. And there's a real feeling that we're going to stay together. I think it has a lot to do with the kids. Karen's really wondering about why she's having this baby. I mean, she's afraid that she's having it because she's afraid of, of being alone. Yeah. Maybe it's true. She may have to live through that to, to know, to know about that. We didn't ask ourselves uh, those questions. I say we, well, we. But I, I certainly didn't. I, uh, I loved, I loved having uh, you two. Being pregnant has really made me think about hell on my mother a lot. I spent a lot of my recent years trying to get away from her, trying to get away from the trips that I thought she put on me. And I'm glad I've gone through that. But in the process, I didn't really see what she had to offer me. And now that I'm pregnant, I, I really feel the first connection that I felt with her in a long time. Karen's father was um, overseas at the time. And uh, whatever the problem with your father was, I, I don't know, but I, I loved the idea of having you kids. And I loved being pregnant with a sciatic nerve. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I loved having you. That's why we were talking about you. You know, just trying to imagine what it was like for you to have children, to have us. I mean, we ask so many questions now about... And now I really want to understand what it was like for her. I mean, it's different. She got married when she was 20. They didn't have any money. They didn't talk to each other very much. And my father took her to the city as soon as they got married. So she didn't have any friends either. Then, like a month after I was born, he was sent to the Pacific. And a year later, he was dead. I keep trying to know what it was like for my mother to be alone, to have to start a life of her own, to create this life and raise me and my sister Elizabeth. I can't imagine the terror of that. Well, you kids are more truthful. You're, you're um, in better relation to your feelings, really. Mm. You trust them. There's more leeway in the society for you, you know. Yeah. But uh, for me, there was such a gap between what I really felt and what I thought as a woman, I thought I ought to feel that I, I, I could have gone crazy. And a lot of my contemporaries did. That craziness. I mean, it's sometimes when I try to explain to people this choice that I made to leave my children, they just can't understand. There's no way they can hear it. To be truthful, I have some of that wall in me, too, you know, about that. Mm -hmm. But 
But I could never have said the things you said. And I couldn't. I couldn't have even thought them. But you were brought up differently, you know. I mean, <laughs> to to be to to have your feelings percolate up. <laughs> 